Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today um, we are going to do another area of my house to clean and declutter because as you can tell I've been just like decluttering like crazy lately. Um, I've been posting stuff on Instagram of things I've gotten rid of and I I know some of you probably think oh it's gonna be the office craft space but my mind's not ready for that yet because I know I have to give stuff away. So I decided to tackle my diamond closet. This is where we keep all of our pots, our pans, um, salad spinner, waffle iron, mixer, all that goes in here because in our kitchen we don't have a lot of cabinet space or counter space. So we keep everything in this closet which is very helpful. I'm thankful for it. Um, so we are going to tackle it, get rid of the stuff, half the stuff in there because like we have two waffle iron, two waffle makers, you know, which I'll show in a minute. <laughs> But um, yeah, so we're gonna tackle this closet today. Um, as you, I don't know if you know this, but I'm in my dining room and I asked my husband, why don't we paint the dining room? He was against it, but then he realized, okay, let's paint it. So I spent one day painting the dining room. It's, it's like a bluish gray. I, mean, I don't know if you can tell on film, on camera or not, but it's the same color I p did when I painted the kitchen, which I'll put eye on when I redid the kitchen. But um, yeah, so we're gonna tackle this beast today and get it organized and cleaned out and get rid of some more stuff that I don't need. If this is your first time on my channel, thank you for stopping by to check my video out. I hope it motivates you and inspires you to clean out a space in your house. And if you are a return subscriber, thank you for coming back and checking this out. And without further ado, let's jump on in the video. So this is a Dining room closet, and yeah, I need to move that stuff too. My sewing stuff. I was just making a mask, but this is everything we have in here, and it's it's good storage. I mean, I'm the lining's coming off, you know, but I keep everything here. All my gadgets, um, all of our pots and pans. It's a lot of stuff, and again. There's stuff in here that I don't use, like I have a brand new waffle iron <laughs> that I've had for years, but I have a waffle iron up here. It's actually the same waffle iron. My, oh, my father-in-law bought one for each of my older kids, and so we have two of the same thing, so there's no need to have two. So this is what I'm working with, and this is what we're going to clean out today. Okay, first thing you need to do when decluttering, take everything out of the space. This is everything. This is everything that came out of there. As you can see, I have two pressure cookers. Now, this, <laughs> I'll give you the story behind this one. My husband, whoops, he had um, the old fashioned pressure cooker. Um, and so it exploded twice and I was like, that's it. So for Christmas I bought him this. This is before the Instant Pot came out. It's a Cuisinart pressure cooker and all it does is pressure, <laughs> does pressure. And so, I ended up getting myself an Instant Pot. And I got an Instant Pot crock pot. So 
technically this one's his because he knows how to use it and this one's mine because I know how to use it so <laughs> I don't know we may keep them we may not I don't know but as you can see I have a lot of glassware a lot of pans you know so back to cleaning Okay, next thing you do, clean the space. So now what we're going to do, we're going to decide what we're going to keep and what we're going to give away. And it shouldn't be too hard. Button is like frick, I need to fix that. Let's get started. Okay, so I am finally done. I didn't record me putting everything back because it took a while because I realized since we've been quarantined, there's a lot of things I've been using that I never used before. So I do have a pile of stuff to give away, but it's just to show you putting things away and you know trying to be organized. It was just it would have been a very long video and I don't want this to be long. So let me show you what I'm giving away. So this is my giveaway pile. Um, I realized I have four frying pans and I hate this one because it never worked well. And I don't use, I, the rest of the stuff I hardly use. And this is a cooling rack, the brand new waffle iron. I have so many cookie cutters so I decided to keep some and give the rest away and a serving dish. So that's all I'm giving away. So let me show you what I did. I fixed the doorknob and this is the way it looks. It looks so clean and organized and oh, I love it. Wait. Like I say, at the end of the day, as long as you're happy, that, that's all that matters. So these are containers I was giving away, but then I realized this will work great to hold all my Pyrex glass dishes. These are what we use for when we put leftovers in. And so they have all the lids, so everything's where I can find it. And then this bin has my hand mixer, my ninja, and all the parts to like my Instapot, my slow cooker, and my KitchenAid mixer. So that holds all that. And then over here um, is I used to store my paper in here for my art, and I got rid of a lot of paper. So I had this, so this can hold other things. But I've been using all these dishes, <laughs> all these bakeware stuff. So up here we keep the pressure cookers and the um, slow cooker now. I say I was thinking about giving away my husband's, but what I one tip I want to give you when you're decluttering, don't declutter other people's stuff. <laughs> it's not your place to decide if they want it or not. So I know Aaron loves this pressure cooker. And so I'm just gonna keep it. We're just gonna have two because he has his and I have mine and I don't know how to use his and he doesn't know how to use mine. So that's what makes a marriage happy. <laughs> so so we're keeping both pressure cookers um, down here on this shelf is things I use almost every day and so over here I have my sheet pans and my 9 by 13 I think 8 by 12 pa uh, baking pans my pot my frying pans mixing bowls which I use almost every day and my griddle I use this at least two or three times a week because I make pancakes or you know grilled cheese sandwiches whatever and then down here um, I keep my salad spinner. The muffin pans, I keep there. We have, I have two. One's large, one's small. I have a fruit bowl under there. My waffle iron, my KitchenAid mixer, and my big pot. I also give the big pot away, but my husband really likes it. He uses it when he's cooking, so he uses it mostly when he makes collard greens. So we're gonna keep that. Again, don't. It's not your job to, you know, declutter someone else's stuff. So that is the end result. I think it looks great. I'm so happy to get rid of some stuff and you know just, it, I don't know, decluttering is it's such a good feeling because I'm getting rid of so much stuff in this house and realizing that I don't need half the things that I think I need and you know like who needs two waffle irons, you know, who needs all them, you know, <laughs> sheet pants or cookie sheets and stuff. So. But um, I'm just glad that it's done and I will tackle my office slash craft space. It's just hard because I love my art supplies and my, you know, <laughs> my arts and crafts. So, um, that may be, that's definitely going to be my next video. I need to just tackle that beast. But, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if this is your first time on my channel. Um, and give me a thumbs up if you love videos like this. And 
Comment below and tell me what are you decluttering during this time of quarantine. Because you can't say you don't have time because you do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until we meet again, have a very blessed day. Bye.